Hey guys, what is up, Clumble? Welcome back to a brand new Diablo 4 video. In today's video, we're going to be going over a dungeon that has a ton of enemies. Like, the most enemies, um, like, two or three times your normal amount. And that's because, if you guys are afraid of spiders, then I this is really not going to be the dungeon for you guys. So, just taking a look at the location, uh, it is going to be mainly... Uh, dead west and south. It's going to be called the Sirocco Caverns. If I said that right. So, again, if you want to find it right where the uh, Fields of Hatred is going to be basically south and to the right of that, I uh, would make sure you get this waypoint and then you can just travel real quickly down to the uh, dungeon. Once you made your way into the dungeon, the first thing you're going to do is going to defeat the silken spire now there's two things what you can do with this dungeon so there's like a circle here and then a big circle so it's just two big circles and the second one i guess both of them but the second one more is just a very very thin pathway with again if you're afraid of spiders or arachnophobia just just be cautious because this is going to be pretty much only spiders so here is going to be the first silken spire and as you can tell it's just going to spawn a ton of spiders also a lot of magic so you got to be really careful though about the poison damage in here so if you want to go a little bit more ranged my build is a little bit more ranged thankfully but just just be careful of uh, all the poison because it can really creep on you uh, really quickly so that's another one down, and well, I noticed. See, I I might die here actually. No, I'm good. So what I've noticed is that as I'm running through this, I'm getting about one to two legendaries per run as well. So here is the first circle complete, and then we'll have another circle, just a big circle right here. Also, I'm playing this on World Tier Two, and I'm getting about 110k XP per run which if you go through it pretty quickly it'll take you about seven to eight minutes you also always get this little on the especially if you go on like the left side you get this little room where a lot of them are going to spawn as well it's always going to be the like this fallen shamans so again just a lot there's just more enemies they're just, they're just throwing more enemies at you why not and then you also have the shrines which is just really going to help you take and uh, tear through all these enemies. This is where it just absolute chaos. So I kind of try to just, again, just keep my distance as much as I can. I need one out here. Just be careful because you can get stun locked quite often. And there you go, once you defeat those two uh, kind of big spiders, then you can complete the dungeon. And again, you could just go quickly and do this one circle and restart, but I just recommend just going through the entire just kind of big uh, square here, because uh, it's just it's just so many enemies. It's also a very good gold making method. This is just from like literally the one run. I'm going to get a lot of gems, a lot of magic items that you can just then go on and sell, and then come right back into the dungeon again. If you did find this helpful, make sure to like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. But yeah, overall, this is a very, very good dungeon if you're looking for a lot of um, XP and just a lot of monsters to kill. And yeah, it's going to catch you guys in the next one.